Hey guys, Jay Rio from ebodyboarding.com. I am here at beautiful Tavarua Island Resort in Fiji for our annual Tavi tube tour trip. And I wanna show you how to repair the slick bottom. And this will work either for a bodyboard or a soft top surfboard like I have here. Um, and what happened is yesterday I was out surfing on this board and I had a little mishap where I had a collision with the surfer. And as you can see, there are three skeg marks, actually more than marks, they're actually slices right through the slick. And you can actually see the core coming out. So if something like this happens to you, you get a puncture in the slick, uh, there are a couple ways to fix this. I'm gonna show you one of them. Um, I am here in a place where I don't have a hot glue gun. That's a great way to fix repairs like this uh, but I have something called uh, solar res and this is the epoxy version this is what you would want for a bodyboard or a soft top surfboard uh, because the other version the PU version will dissolve the core material so the first thing you want to do when you have a slice into the slick right through to the core is you obviously want to dry the board out you can't have any moisture in these slices or the repair won't hold. Um, second thing is obviously debris. If you can get any debris out of those slices, uh, that's gonna be better for your repair. So this particular slice in the center is really deep. You can see that the slick is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, pushed right down into the core. So first thing I'm gonna do, you can do this with a knife, screwdriver, uh, whatever, is you wanna pull that slick out of that little gouge and you want to get it so that you can't really see that core foam in there. Something I forgot to mention in the video, it's a good idea to lightly sand the area around the repair so the solar res has something to grab onto. Okay, that's about as good as it's going to get. So the next step is using my solar res. Now this product is activated by the sun so once you get it in the sun it's going to cure very quickly so you want to do the initial repair in the shade so it's pretty simple all you do is you squirt solar res over that slice that's a small one this is the big one just covering it liberally with the solar res and then we have this third one Okay, so you can see I've liberally covered these slices with the solar res. Now what I want to do is smooth them out. Uh, you can use a putty knife. In this case, I'm just going to use the back of this cardboard carton. And this is already setting up. I'm not even in the sun. And you can see it's already starting to gel. Probably because it's an older tube. And you just want to smooth that out. You will be sanding it later, but basically you want to fill in that slice so that water doesn't get into the core and cover that up. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little more on the center one. And I think I've got that opening pretty well covered. And yeah, I'm amazed how quickly this set up. We're not even in the sun. And I think it's just catching some reflection uh, off of the beach here. So now that I've filled in those slices, I'm gonna move this into the sun and we'll watch it cure very quickly. Okay, so the solar res has had time to cure. So now we're gonna use this little square of sandpaper that comes with the solar res kit. And one side is coarse and one side is less coarse. And all we're gonna do is sand off that excess. You wanna try to stick right on where the solar res is because you can scratch the slick bottom if you go a little beyond where the solar res is. So just little strokes back and forth with the coarse end of this uh, sandpaper pad. So. 
So mission accomplished. We filled in these gashes in the slick. Uh, we've sanded it down somewhat. You can get better detail with the sanding if you have a you know a sander like a um, orbital sander or something like that, or maybe better sandpaper. These things wear out pretty quickly, as you can see. Uh, and I did probably apply this a little too liberally on this gash, but I really wanted to fill it in. Uh, you can take your time and do a smoother job, much like this one is much smoother. Um, and just take your time and sand it down to where you're happy with it. But the mission here was to fill in those gashes, and we've done that and made it back to a watertight uh, seal on this board. And that's the way to quickly repair your slick bottom bodyboard or soft top surfboard. By the way, I wanted to mention the cure time for solar res is about five minutes in the sun. So you can literally take the repaired board out in the water just within a few minutes after it's done hardening. So this is my repair job. It's not pretty. Again, I did it kind of quickly, didn't really take my time. But those slices are sealed up uh, with solar res. And again, hot glue also works great if you have access to a hot glue gun. So that's it.